If you need to add buttons dynamically to a page, you can do so in our systems. In this video, I will show you how. So you're looking at my service studio. This is a reactive web application. It has an entity called citizen. I have bootstrapped this with two records there, I guess. And uh, that's it. What I want to do quickly is create the usual listing and detail screen. And I think uh, you would know that Awesome has a set of widgets. One of them is also a widget for button, which looks something like this. If you add this button directly, just like this, it adds one. But if you want to add buttons dynamically, then what? So imagine in my scenario, if I have a list of citizens here coming from my table here, this citizen entity does this. Imagine if I want to create a set of buttons, maybe for each of these records that is here dynamically, so that if a new citizen is added, then it should show up as a button. In that case, for our systems, anything that has to have maybe a list kind of structure, you can use the list widget here. And put it maybe right above the table, something like this. I can push all this list widget also into an in container so that I can set up a margin. It looks too close to the table below, something like this. And then uh, for the list widget, you can bind it to a source, which is a query. Now this query, you can also create a new one. In my case, uh, uh, the this page already has gets in list. So I'm going to just bind it with this. So imagine uh, the scenario could be where you are getting a distinct list of addresses, or maybe it could be a status that you want to create dynamically. It can be done so. So this is list is there. And thereafter, once uh, it's done, if you add a button to it, it creates a list of buttons in here. So anything that goes inside a list, it becomes a list of those things. So button is here. Now we also wanted to assign a dynamic label to it so that uh, maybe it displays the name of uh, the person here. So for that, what I will do is use an expression instead of the text there. And the expression value can be from the citizen's name field, something like this. Okay. And with that, I can get rid of the text, which was there. The last step uh, for buttons, you also need, need to make it clickable so that when a user clicks on it, it executes a certain set of function, right? So in this case, uh, just double click on it and, uh, you would not know which button was clicked, right? Because uh, uh, it's, it's a button click and it's tied to the same, same common function, button on click. So to know what button is clicked, you can add input parameter to it, which button, maybe I'm just putting it like this. That becomes input parameter and maybe I can display this in a message, something like this. So you will notice that now when the button click is triggered, this button click is asking me for that input parameter, which button is there. And I can supply any value. I can supply the name, which is the same thing as the button label or the IC or anything that is there in the in this query. So in my case, let me just display the name again. And that's it. Let's publish the application and see the outcome. Almost there. And it's there. So the list is here, uh, two records are there. As you can see, the list of buttons dynamically is built already. If I click on John, I see the John's name. If I click on Mary, I see the Mary's name. But what if I create a new citizen? So in this case, let's say there is George. And his IC is something, something. Less of the fields I'm leaving empty and save it. I have a button for George as well now. And it works. Thanks for watching.